So this morning we're doing something special. No, I won't. I'll leave the hood open. <laughs> so we just arrived at work. 71.8, 24.4, 24 km. These are the voltages and temperatures. Okay, turning off the car now. So what I'm going to do, this is shortly after we got here and we have only 12.7 volts. Okay, so I'm trying to measure about once every two hours and see how we go. So guys, I left the, I left the hood open. Um, just I, I don't want to disturb this the um, the system at all. When I when I, when I unlock the car with the central locking, all the lights turn on, everything inside. So it will put a little bit of load on the battery, and I just want to measure it without any load. So I left the hood open um, for the time at work. So hopefully nobody is seeing that because it sticks out a little bit. But you know, that's what you have to do. And the voltage has risen to 12.979. That is interesting. So, 10, 13, 12, 9, 7, 9 volts. Okay. So we've got now more voltage than after driving. Okay, we pop this all back in and probably measure again at lunchtime then. Twelve point nine six two. Twelve point nine seven has only very very slightly decreased. Hmm. There's still still more voltage than when we drove here. That is weird. Okay, that's where we are at. Nobody is seeing me. <laughs> what I'm doing here. So I've just unlocked the car and the battery voltage dropped to 12.656 and that's exactly what we had this morning after we came here. Okay, let's power on the car and measure again. So car is powered on and we have 14.658 volts. So it's definitely it's definitely charging while the car is turned on. Oh look at this. There's a cooling pump running. It's probably for the rear motor. So it's definitely charging. Mm. 
Yeah, 0 0.7 ampere hours gone. Hmm, interesting stuff. Why is this pump running here? Yeah, this can be only for the electric motors. So I turned off the car again and voltage is going down of course. Yeah but this is strange that we only have 12.6 in the morning. That is really strange. Hmm. So I just measured again after my lunch break. Half an hour later we have only 12.783 volts. See, it has was almost constant all the time. And then I turned on the car to measure the state of charge. And half an hour later we've got only 12.7. That is also weird. Something is going on here. Alright, so before I go home, I'll of course measure the battery again. To see what's going on. And we are on 12657. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, and again we have 0 0.9 ampere hours less than from lunch. Okay, so something is definitely going on. <laughs> My energy is going somewhere. <laughs> and we maybe. We may be onto something with the battery now. I know what you're. I know what you're saying. A lot of people have mentioned the battery before, and I've measured it a couple of times before. And I was. I was pretty certain there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with the battery with the 12 volt battery. But looking at these figures now, they they seem a little bit weird. So I was expecting when I drive. You see, after the full charge last night. The battery, the 12 volt, I'm talking about the 12 volt battery only. So after the charging had finished this morning, I measured the battery and it was about an hour afterwards and the battery had about 13.3 volts. And this was, it was pretty good, so it was pretty up. Before I left to work, yeah, so the car was sitting there for another hour, I measured again and the battery had only 12.6 volts. And nothing was turned on, so I haven't used the car at all. I, there was, I haven't even touched the car, apart from the... So then I drove here, and while I'm driving, the 12 volt battery gets charged from the big drive battery. But the, um, the voltage only raised to 12.7 um, volt. And it was, it was straight after I got here. And I was expecting a far higher charge voltage, because the battery was charged for 15-20 minutes here while I was driving. It wasn't that high. Then after two and a half hours I came back and the battery voltage climbed to 12.9 volts which is 0 0.3 volts almost more than after the after driving here. Totally nuts. That is totally nuts. I'm not sure why this is happening but something is going on. I've got my volt and ampere meter here. I'm measuring. I'm measuring. I wonder if I just should replace the battery, the 12 volt battery, with another one. I have a problem now. The engine light is on and the battery symbol is on. Uh, yeah, I can operate that, but nothing else seems to work. So if I put it in reverse, I'm getting beep sounds only. Okay. I can't even turn off the car anymore. Well, that's interesting. Press brake pedal to start. No. Wow. I can't turn off the car anymore. Brake shift. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys, I can't turn off the car anymore. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, it won't respond to anything. I can put it in neutral, but I've got no power steering, nothing. Ah, here you go. Oh, turned off again. What the heck is going on? Okay, brake pedal, power. So the battery symbol is gone. Everything else is gone. Hand brake, gone. All symbols are gone again. What the heck was that? No, it's driving again. That's the second time, you remember? The first time it happens when I was at this um, forbidden Tesla charger in the city. And I had it charged and had the car turned on. Hmm. Should I probably get the car checked at the um, service center? Maybe something is wrong with the AUX battery and the car doesn't always show me that. That was a little bit weird. Well, well, car seems to be doing okay now. That is weird. And I couldn't turn off anymore. So why is this happening? Ah. Okay, I'm just, just measuring the voltage again here from the cigarette lighter. While the car is running, we've got 13 triple seven. Okay, uh, let me turn off the car now. Ah, oh. <laughs> I can't measure from here anymore. Of course not. Okay, so voltage went down to 12.95. So it loses a little bit, of course. When the charging stops, it loses a little bit of voltage.